Hey guys, this is my fourth video here. This is comparatively easy one. Uh, it basically deals about uh, creating and restoring the Android backups of your ROM. There are basically two options this time. Uh, you either if you are using ROM Manager or ROM Toolbox, you can create it from there. Or second is manual one, uh, directly going to bootloader and then recovery and then creating and coming back. I'll show you both of them. First, I'll just uh, show you the ROM Manager one. It's very simple. Go to menu, uh, open ROM manager. Here it is. Uh, these are two options manage and restore backups. In case you want to restore a backup, you can it just opens a menu. Uh, yep, yeah. I have actually two. And then, second one is um, yep, yeah, backup current ROM. Just rename it and backing it up. This is the automatic procedure. You just say OK, it'll automatically uh, reboot, backup, and then come back to you. Second one is uh, a manual one where you actually have to do all the work. Nowadays, since this ROM manager has come, no one pretty uses this, but still, for demonstration and uh, other purpose, I'll just show you. It's simple. You can restart your phone. You can either restart it directly by restarting to bootloader, but there are some ROMs which actually are not able to do it. Some bugs or something. This is the safest way. Just restart, and um, then when you get the Motorola logo and then comes the blue LED, just press the volume down button. Just wait here and down. This is the manual way. Uh, here is the Android boot menu. Same way you have to go. Go to recovery latest recovery or custom recovery in some ROMs and there you get an option called backup and restore you open that you get option backup this ROM or you can restore some other ROM I'll tell you backup you just press backup and it will automatically create its own Android backup the beauty of this Android backup is you can actually restore it uh, the way the, the phone was when you actually backed it up all the widgets, all the position, every single thing that you had will come back to you. The main usage, suppose is, uh, you flashed your ROM and it did work out. You can actually restore your complete system here. Depending upon how big your ROM is or how much have you put your apps and all in it, uh, it, it takes time. I haven't uh, loaded up my ROM, but yes, it is in full also, so probably it will take around 4 or 5 minutes. The back will continue on its own. I'll just see the phone here. I won't uh, edit the video uh, so that uh, you can actually have a get, uh, get an idea about uh, how long does it take to make a complete backup but still if you want to uh, skip this part in the comments I have uh, mentioned the point where the backing up is complete so that's what and uh, the backing up uh, takes place in two parts first the system is backed up and then comes the data
here it is uh, it's about to be finished you can see there's actually a meter by which you can tell how much is depth how much isn't this is the last part the two main part are over backing up system and uh, backing up the data this is the last two parts Okay, backing android.secure and there will be some other two files and after the backup will be complete as I said it took approximately around 5 minutes okay, the backup will be complete and you straight away be sent to the menu where you can either restore or do whatever you want to fashion your ROM or you can either go back Reboot system. done there's a menu uh, you could reboot flash a new rom or restore some other rom or whatever you want to do i'll just reboot it and your phone will come back with previous state so this was all about backing up you want to restore same procedure where backup and restore is there go to uh, restore select the backup file and click restore same procedure same way it depends you want to backup or restore the phone will boot now it's all the same now so this will be it this is it the boot animation the phone will boot so this is it um, backing up and restore new videos will come on in uh, stay tuned and thank you very much once again